hello, my friends, and hello, intelligent community, and everyone out there on this Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Uh, I thought I would um, come on. We're going to start doing this every week, uh, by the way. Sorry. Let me back up. I'm Marla Boyle. I am Education Director for Intelligent I Am Beauty Brand. And we have started a program here every Wednesday. I'm going to come on at 12 p.m. Central and share with you some quick inspiration around wellness in all kinds of shapes and forms uh, and information to help you uh, lead a life full of wellness. <laughs> so uh, today I actually thought I would focus a little bit on breathing because uh, given uh, all that's going on in our space uh, today and in general, I just thought, let's focus on breathing because I can tell you honestly that my breathing has not been the best it could be. And uh, I just know, and it's what I've taught for so long, that breathing is what's going to help you bring balance back to your body. It reduces your stress. It helps reduce anxiety. It helps you get focused. It helps you get centered. It helps you just get present. And uh, I talk a lot about that. So today in terms of breathing and what that means. So what does it mean to breathe and breathe well? Well, you have two lungs and so often I found in all my years of teaching well-being work that we breathe a little bit into our shoulders, like we breathe this way. So we go, oh, it's breathing deep when really it's not. Uh, and for me, then sometimes people, if I go in the opposite direction, then sometimes people will breathe so diaphragmatically, so belly breath, uh, which also it's good. However, your lungs are where the air is. So we really need to breathe into our lungs, which go from the front of our body to the back of our body. And when we breathe, we're trying to uh, I use these words to breathe expansively. And that for me means breathing into the right and left sides of our rib cage. It means breathing into the front and back of our rib cage. We are in a space uh, as we've evolved that we're a either looking down constantly, uh, we're sitting maybe at a computer and typing away. Maybe we're in a salon and we're working on hair or doing a facial, or we are standing on our feet all day and we're working in a restaurant. Whatever we're doing, there's a lot tends to be more constriction through our rib cage. And when we get stressed, we start to curl forward a little bit. We tighten up here because we tighten our chest. We tighten the heart center. We tighten our gut and our diaphragm, and we forget to breathe. And Lord knows, in all of my years of teaching this, I have had so many moments of just this, you know, constriction. So what I want to do is try to help you have this breathing moment. And we don't you know, you just saw me breathe in and out through my mouth. What that does for you is it it's a fast, easy way to just release a lot of tension. And then, you know, we can focus on breathing through the nose, which breathing through your nose in and out is really most beneficial for your body. So let's uh, start a little bit with this breathing moment. So first, let's just start with a nice deep inhale. So that means we're going to breathe through. Try not to lift your shoulders up. So I want you to just try to breathe deeply, breathe expansively, and try to think about air filling the sides of your ribs, filling the front of your chest, but also filling the back of your chest and your whole, your lats, your rhomboids, your... Um, uh, goodness gracious, I <laughs> just lost all my anatomy. Just breathe into your back. So take a nice deep breath through your nose. And then just blow out through your mouth. Just exhale. So do it again. And then just exhale 
through your mouth. Okay, so you should feel just a release right there. Then let's go ahead and do some focused breath. Now, let's just take some three nice deep breaths. So you don't always have to breathe super deep and expansively just to get centered or get present. But whenever you breathe, if you could do 60% of your normal breath in your ribs, lungs, back, where your shoulder blades are, that was the word that escaped me before, where your shoulder blades are, your scalenes, your rhomboids, your lats, if you can breathe into that space. Okay, so 60% is up here, and then maybe put 40% on your diaphragm, okay? So just try to relax your breath and just do some normal breathing. So take three normal breaths in and exhale. So, and exhale. Try to keep it through in and out through your nose. So breathe in again and exhale. So again, really think about, can I expand when I breathe? So breathe in, stretch out this way, right to left. You don't have to add your arms and hands and exhale. Okay, so I'm going to add a little wonderful to the mix. I just happen to have some of our beautiful liquid green body oil. For us here, breathe in moments that intelligent are really important. And they are a signature part of who we are and what we promote in our sensorial experiences, whether you're at home, whether you're on the road, whether you're in a salon, whether you're uh, out in a park. Okay, so the sensorial experience, this breathe-in moment is really just taking a deep breath in. It is breathing in. And with it, we just happen to have amazing 99% certified organic USDA essential oil aromas in all of our products so that you can have that sensorial experience. Uh, I have been teaching essential oils for over 30 years. And let me tell you, these breathe-in moments are powerful. They're so important. and they get me through the day, hands down. So I'm going to take a couple drops, um, two to be specific. Put them in the palm of my hands, rub them on my hands. And so I want you to breathe in. If you can grab some aroma, your favorite, whatever it is, um, our beautiful certified organic essential oil aroma. Sorry, I just can't help but breathe in because it's amazing. Blue tansy and lavender and neroli and cystus. Uh, so this is rock rose and sandalwood. It is this beautiful, for me, I feel it's a very beautiful, refreshing, warm, floral, herbal floral. Um, so when we breathe in, when you use aroma, even if you just step out into nature and smell nature, like particularly for me where I am right now in Chicago, it's been raining every night. And so the aroma, when I get up in the morning and I just take a short walk, a couple blocks, just to wake up, that aroma, that smell of nature is so unbelievably fulfilling and restorative and instantly calming and balancing. And it's the most amazing smell. And for me, it's probably one of the hardest scents to describe because it changes every day, but for me, it is just, uh, it's, I smell the green, I smell the earthy, the wood, because it's moist after rain. I smell, smell flowers that are still blossoming or just starting to open up. So there's all this stuff coming at me when I do this walk in the morning and even at night also. But right here, right now on my hands, I have this amazing aroma. So I'm gonna have you take three deep breaths in with me while we breathe in some beautiful, warm, floral, herbal aroma. So, oh, okay, I love it. So I take my aroma, just as you saw me, I put it in my hands, I cup it over my face, and I'm going to take my three expansive breaths, and then I'm going to send you on your way. So nice, deep, expansive breath. Let it fully out. You want to really try to empty your lungs. Nice, deep, expansive breath. And really try to empty all that air out. That also gets, when you expand, 
when you um, exhale and, and expel all the breath out, you really push the toxins out of your lungs, all that dead, stale air. So that's why breathing expansively is really important. Last one. And so really it takes so little effort and time to stop. Take 30 seconds, take 10 seconds and breathe. Stop and breathe and get some well-being on with you. Get some restorative balance and get a fresh perspective, get present. So I will see you next Wednesday. Every topic every week is going to be a little different. I appreciate you being here. Have a beautiful day full of wellness and inspiration. Take care.